guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's me Cory and if you're new here I do fountain pens and stationery related videos and if you are uh, coming back subscribers <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in and supporting my channel so in today's video as you all know as you can see in the thumbnail I'm gonna show you my permanent waterproof ink collection the bottles that i have so um i want to share with you that these are my reliable inks that i can use for my important documents or journaling that i don't like them to fade in years or you know if there's a water or spilling or coffee so i have them in bottles because i really like to collect bottles as well if space and wallet permits why not <laughs> but if you do also have other permanent inks you know of i know there's one new um platinum the blackest among black <laughs> but i'm still contemplating on getting that because i do have two blacks here do comment down below any suggestions i'm open to trying them out so let's not make the intro so long <laughs> i'm gonna use this galen leather um journal i call this my journal ink swatching purposely i mean for the purpose of my videos i do have my regular where is that <laughs> ink uh record journal i mean for my uh monthly and yeah if you follow my channel you can see that my progress reports and my monthly ink pen so in here i normally put swatches or new bottles or newly pens acquired for the year 2023 so if this, this can last 2024 why not let us now begin this is also in tomo river paper so i do have here six bottles of permanent ink so first let me discuss with you one brand that i have this is um from us the air corp blue black noodlers ink and the black swan uh, australian roses i think they've changed this name if i'm not mistaken so these two this one is fully waterproof um very very uh permanent ink while the black swan is just partially waterproof this is the burgundy side red dark red shade if you don't know yet and i will test it with you guys with water um drops and see for ourselves if this really is a permanent waterproof semi-permanent so in case you are looking for a video like this i hope this helps you um decide Although I already made a video, I'm going to card it up on this two comparison. So you can just check it out. But for now, I'm just archiving all my permanent waterproof inks. That's my dog coming in. <laughs> so excuse the sound. Okay, this is the Air Corp Blue Black. Hey Milo. Quiet. This is the Air Corp Blue Black. And I'm going to use my Kaki Mori Brass Nib. Just for this purpose of this video not using each and every fountain pen that i have and let us see the i have this i have swatched this already guys for my blue blues and i just want to test it out by the way these noodlers are the most longer drying inks that i have I think everybody knows if you own a noodler's ink bottle okay they are very thick watery type of ink and you might want to wait until it's fully dried before you can close your books so let us just wait until it's dried and see I think for all we have to wait just to get the waterproof test later on so i'm just cleaning my nib 
and on to our next noodler's ink this is the black swan australian rose okay where's my towel and this one is the first noodlers i had with the apache sunset so i the apache sunset is not a waterproof ink guys so i did not include it here black swan australian rose later we can smear this with water and see how partially waterproof this ink is okay because i'm also looking for permanent inks that are colored not just black black so if you know of any inks that are permanent and with colors like green oh my god i need to find one <laughs> i need to add to my collection next to my permanent inks ones are the diatramentis brand so i have here the sepia brown and the black both are document ink and for diatramentis they are handmade in germany and they are fully fully waterproof pigment based light fast permanent ph neutral whatnot you can google the rest and they're very suitable for fountain pens so this is my first ever black reliable waterproof permanent ink the document black document ink so let's see now let's put the the atramentis on the side okay you see that blackness and the atramentis document ink black okay. later when they are fully dried we can water test it waterproof test i do have this i don't know what is this granules here guys do you know this is one of my oldest ink bottles and look at that how to get rid of this i might clean this so i will not close it yet i have to clean that top part of the bottle so this is the atramentis we're just waiting to dry up and now we'll just try the sepia brown the same brand the same document ink so we'll test now the sepia brown the atramentis this is a dark brown i think i've dipped a lot <gasps> and this is very thick ink brown Oh no, the construction noise is starting. Forgive my background. Okay, so it's still very, very, very wet. Now I have this cola, and I tried to research if this is really waterproof or not because this is not a document ink. And so maybe it's a partial waterproof as well, like the black swan might as well test it for myself because this is very um not so common color ink i had to order this and maybe arrive four or six months later because <laughs> i really really love the scented inks that's also in good shade so this is the cola by the atramentis see that i can even smell now okay for those of you who don't like or have a sensitive nose okay this is not for you because it's really strong cola scent cola okay. okay let's just close it see this is still clean this is the newest bottle i have the blackest trouble last and not the least but not the least is the carbon ink newest black as well this is as you all know a very very black permanent one but we can add as well to test in the water test so these are all my six waterproof permanent inks so platinum 
carbon black. Okay. So, I'm gonna pause the video, I guess, because some are not yet dried. As you can see, it's still very, very wet. And we'll get, get back in a few minutes for me. But for you, we'll just I'll see it immediately. And later, we'll do the water drop test. Okay, I'm back. And I've labeled them permanent waterproof inks in my collection while waiting to dry them out. And I also cleaned my bottle, the cup, and the top part. So hopefully this will not spoil the entire ink. And I got a fresh water as well for our drop test, water drop test. So as you can see, Moodler's already fully dried. Platinum, not yet. The Atramentis, there's a little bit of leftover spot there, and as well as the brown, sepia brown, and the cola. So I'm just gonna realistically, we are gonna just test the name, I mean, this part, because we don't obviously, okay, we can, but it's more smearing or you know the normal days we write in and then check if that's the waterproof part rather than having this fuller solid colored one so let's do the this section for our water test are you ready <laughs> let's zoom a bit okay uh -huh. then i'm gonna take a little bit of in my eyedropper water and we'll do a quick drop water drop on each of our category I mean ink okay oh, I'm not even hitting the part let's just do okay see middlers air corp platinum to be fair let's check in the section where there's a little bit thick so you guys can see the atramentis as well i think drew brown made this kind of video as well years back so if you want a proper <laughs> one check it out but this is just my take coming from a girl in southeast asia <laughs> okay guys so i don't think air corp is what they claim to be waterproof as you can see i'm gonna put it closer and look at that the ink and the water is blending same with my noodler's black swan carbon black the the atrament is black and the sepia brown are clear clear as water still one two three noodlers now you claim this is a waterproof fully um permanent but i don't think so it's just semi see this one is never the atramentis cola is no way semi-permanent at all okay only the black carbon, the Atramentis sepia brown, and the black, the Atramentis survived this test. Now, let me just remove the water to see. Sorry about my... Oh my god, the color has stained the black platinum, so ignore that. This is no way near permanent at all the atramentis is solid okay now you see guys noodlers failed this anyway they claim um, semi waterproof carbon fully waterproof this is just from the wiping this is not the black winner winner this one two three winner this they didn't claim it's waterproof so it's just me testing though 
even though you spill on it there is a remaining ink left in case you're journaling and you know but this also has some 80% left the only thing is it's still smearing so maybe the drying time is I need more drying time then it can be waterproof let me know in the comment section if you have the same ink this one also uh, it's smeared but there is more ink left over than the the Atramentis Cola so yeah let's say it's a semi your writing is still safe even though you spill some water on it just don't wipe it like that just tap 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 okay these three are the winners so i think that's it guys i hope in this video you get the idea i know it's not new <laughs> i'm just um, archiving my permanent ink collection so this no this is not cola these three are my best bet if you're looking for the most waterproof one i mean i don't think this is the blackest claiming now because they they've launched a new one i just don't i cannot justify the price it's still black but it's double or triple on this rate so no i'm not sure if it's even worth it i'm okay with this for now these two blacks okay thank you so much for hanging out with me and finding out as well if these inks are waterproof um and let me know your your experiences why there is granules yeah this is granules from them so let me know if you also have waterproof inks in your collection and what i don't have let me know so i can check them out thank you guys for watching and please do like and subscribe i'll see you on my next one bye